Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I am General Ming and today we will be headed for Napalos. This is campaign level 5. We are of course still playing on brutal mode. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the mic just a little bit there. Hopefully that didn't make any noise. Alrighty, so we are here in a theater. It is no longer being used so we're making it into an aquarium. Uh, we must reach rank 7, have a minimum number of species here, 24. And looks like we just have to earn a whole bunch of prestige in the process. That seems reasonable. Cool. So we have no anything other than that. Awesome. So we get one broom stand. That's handy. We do get some decorations. I'm just taking a moment here to familiarize myself with what's going on. I believe all of these decorations are external. They don't go in the habitat. A little bit of wall going on there. Some nice benches. It'd be nice if I had a way to like put those into storage, but I don't think I do. But I think can I what, what am I at for stuff and things? Do I have looks like everything mostly carries over? I don't have access to these padded benches, so I don't want to sell those. I'm actually just gonna take a moment here and just move them all. But one way to do that. That's annoying. Okay, fine. We will just make this whole hallway then. Nothing but benches. Admittedly, I think this game would really benefit from a double click to move feature. It's neither here nor there. That's all of that, and then this last one, we'll just go ahead and put like... Uh, I don't have a great place to put this. Just right there in the hallway. Sure. So that gives me a nice little bit of space now to work with here in the center. So, animal-wise, we've got nothing amazing, nothing spectacular. Some decent variety, though, and we've got a couple of cold water critters, too, I take it. Yep, there's one right now, the authentic Pollock. Uh, plenty of foliage, plenty of decor, painting stuff, that's good. Um, it all looks fine and reasonable. We do have all the tanks that we could really need. Uh, except for that one for the jellyfish, which is fine because we don't have any jellies right now. And... No gift shop stuff yet either. Okay. I think... I think we try and start off maybe with something right here. I think I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna try and do two corner tanks, I think. So, if we make you. One, two, and three. Two, three by three, nice and simply. And we can actually do the same thing here. That looks okay. Now if I come down to here and I grab a power pump that can connect to both of them, I can do that, right? So that's great, and that means I can do, I'll just do a basic, one of those? Which are you going to do? You are connected to both of them, I think. Looks like. Maybe? Can I... I don't get a good pop-up for that one. Pick this up. 
put it down right like that. There, carefully connect you to this one. Okay, so now if I do this, alright, so each of you are at 40. That's not gonna work, is it? Grab both of those. Move you so you're actually in line with this. Alright, that's better. I'll actually do a wall straight across there. We're gonna do the same concept. We're gonna do a power pump like that. Nope, I lied. We're gonna do a power pump like this. Connected to both of them. And then I'm actually gonna do a do a large heater on one side connected to that. And we'll do a large filter on the other side also connected. And that will keep those well supplied. And that's great. And in fact, I can grab a tool and tool station. And toss you uh, nope, right here, but oriented the way I want. Thank you. And then animals, we will go ahead and do some tropical animals to start with. Uh, these are these tanks each hold 23. It's not amazing. You will eat anything that's small. And you get up to size 9. Mm. Do two of these lionfish. Or actually, you know what would be even fun? Even more fun. I could do one of each of these two lionfish, and that's better. Let's do that. We've got one lionfish and one fuzzy dwarf lionfish. Um, you know, we can do two of the fuzzy dwarfs, I believe. See, now that's going to tell me that that's not enough filtering for that tank, which I can fix. Take a power filter, put it down, and apparently that's not enough. I have a large filter, slap it down instead. Cool. Wall to block that. We'll need a wall over here as well. We need a pair of staff doors. There's one. There's two. That's your uncle, that's all fine and dandy. Staff, real quick here, we need somebody who's good with feeding. Level 3 at feeding. Fantastic. And a level 2 at fixing, that'll probably be what we get. Yeah, level 2 at fixing. That seems good, unless I can get somebody better. And I can't. Okay. That's the two of them. They should actually already be here at the entrance. There they are. They're clipped inside of each other, but they're both there. Uh, let's see, real quick here. Do I need a sheltered overhang? That's probably gonna be good enough. That covers those needs. And then we just need to grab a quick food, and they both eat mussels, which is great. Bam. Okay. So now, that did eat most of our money. Take it in to fast forward there. So they will just kind of handle things, they will do their job. Everything should be great. We'll go ahead and just accidentally research the large chiller. So not quite what I needed, but we'll make it work anyway. Move a little bit of decoration there to be in in where people would see it. Cool. And we'll move this broom stand actually to be in back out of the way just so that people are less uh, less annoyed when we get to the point where that matters. Which is actually already right now. <laughs> Tunnel tanks, those are fun. Uh, balloon shelf, that's gonna be a new uh, a new gift shop thing. Mic headsets for tours, coffees, a drink, a whole bunch of stuff that'll be really nice and handy when we get to that point. 
see what we can do about getting some food and drinks on site. Let's do one. 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 And a bathroom. Some basic toilet with, again, a pair of walls. Now that I keep people's needs situated at least for a little while. Won't do anything permanently, of course. We can't get the uh, creasel tank for the jellies soon, which will be awesome. Uh, also the bookshelf, which will help with the money flow. Right, we got three grand. What's our next thing going to be over here? I'm thinking perhaps... Hmm. Could do some corals, but I'm kind of thinking maybe a couple of corals and a cowfish. Could be fun. I think better to put in there. Go ahead and do that. Do a couple of coral. Bam, bam, and bam. I do need lights. Easy. Filters. Uh, I need a protein skimmer. And that should handle that real nice and easy. And we do need food for them as well. That is super. Job's done. And real quick while we're at it then. These guys are going to need a different food source, which is not one that I've got handy. It'd be problematic. But I could do... Uh, I could do two of these. Actually. Let's do a couple more of these. And they just want some shelter, and that's pretty easy to do. Just need to move... Punch number two for the form. And then grab yet another rocky overhang and bam. So much like in the Zoo Tycoon franchise, a multi-species exhibit multi-species exhibit, sorry, tripping over my own tongue, is going to net better results on basically everything. So anytime you can, you always want to try and have at least two species in the same tank. Just make sure that they are compatible or else you'll have bigger problems than not having enough stats handy. So, we should be generating a little bit of money now. We'll check our economy here. Yep, we do make a little bit. We're making 640th day basically an entrance. That should be a constant number. Basically, I mean, it'll change every time we get more animals in it, but each each sort of thing should be relatively constant. I don't know if it's by animal or by habitat. Um. Alright, so. This little area is looking really nice, and that can stay, I believe, exactly as it is right now, because I thought I checked it, yes. So the zebra mora eels also eat mussels, which means everything in this box is 100% contained within this box. That's good. That's kind of the way you want to try and design most of your habitats, most of your aquariums. Um, it doesn't hurt to like overlap, you know, if this toolbox is going to handle another area over here or something. Not the end of the world. Uh, but generally speaking, it's not the goal to have a habitat like that. Alright, we got an update. We've got a level up here. You're gonna be a level 3 fixer now. Yeah. What's our next step gonna be? Get some cold water. Can we do. How hard would it be to do this? 
Uh, I could do like uh, probably two of you in a tank if I can get it to be size 32. Be a lagoon tank. That's pretty easy. Maybe we could do a lagoon tank. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll, I'll keep thinking about that one. In the meantime. Herbivore. Um, cool, we can make some extra cash. They want to see a tank with three green pellet eaters, two plants, and water heating. Deal. So I'm going to go ahead and bump out right here. Like that. We can get a nice... Uh, do I want to do a deep wall tank? I think I want to do a deep wall tank. I don't want to go huge, I just want to be like that. That looks nice, right? Yeah. Before, and then we will go ahead and actually do this and staircase on that, believe it or not. And then I'm going to do this. Now, I will say in a real aquarium and when we do like our sandbox aquariums and whatnot, I'm going to try and avoid this right here. With the whole door, stairs, and hallway all at one point. Because in an actual animal-based institution like an aquarium or a zoo, uh, the architects would try really hard to make sure they don't have that kind of uh, cross flow of traffic. It just doesn't work well. But for the time being, with it only being the one habitat, it'll be fine. Do I need three different plant eaters back here? And I can't use... Uh, well, this could be problematic. I don't actually have many plant eaters. I can't use... I could do one, one, and a handful of you, I guess. That is literally my only option, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. You were a wimp. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. I put some hermit crabs in there too for some variety. So we'll do one. One. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't have hermit crabs yet. Right. I knew that. Alright. You will come back to that part then. Keep some hermit crabs in a bit. Uh, go ahead and actually bump this out here as well. Nice little wrap around uh, area here because I want to do. First of all, I want to do. Green pellets dispenser here. Then I'll get them fed. Alright, so we need to do. How do we want to do this? I want to do you. And I want to do. Okay, one more trip. That handles that. I want to do one large heater. Which will handle that. And I need to do some plants. One. And two. So that will handle all of that. Gives me a little bit more money. Which is important because now I can afford to put in the tool station back here as well. And that should be good. That'll keep things going. For a little bit at least. Hmm. Some new animals available. Um, let's go ahead and grab the starfish first because it's going to be cheaper, which means I can get it available quicker. That's an important little, uh, important little thing. Right. So the cool thing about this particular level is that there are no like procedural challenges. It's just this one overall goal. Um, the downside is that doesn't give me a whole lot of great places to then do level breaks. Go ahead and 
There's a timer though. Go ahead and do this real quick. Do a staff door. Do a punch sink in here. Grab you, get you out of there. And then quickly hire a person who can handle the cleaning. But your job, Isla, is going to be entirely clean. You are not really handling feeding. You can, I guess. But I want you to prioritize cleaning. Alrighty. But with that, we are out of time in this particular episode. So here's what we're at right now. Look at everybody go, run around, do their jobs. I will uh, pause it here. I will catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you're enjoying what's going down. And yeah. Adios.